Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £500 worth of £2 coins we're hunting through looking for commemoratives, ones with more than face value but ideally looking to complete the book. We need three Commonwealth games, that's Northern Ireland, Wales and Scotland. They're pretty tricksy coins to come across. We have found two Commonwealth Games England's unfortunately well I guess fortunate because they are very exciting coins to find but uh, unfortunate because it was a duplicate rather than one from uh, two different countries uh, we have everything else up to and including the Great Fire of London there's a few circulating years of the definitive coins which uh, I don't think anyone started finding in circulation yet which would be nice and excited to find just purely on the basis that we haven't found any so far so ideally we want one of those three so let's get into this bag and see if we're lucky enough to do that today Okay then, into bag number one. So, what are we after? This is Technologies, the definitive non-commemorative standard circulating design, uh, which was used up until 2015. Some lower minted years than others, just not low enough that I think that they are worth keeping. And, unfortunately, case of the diddlies with bag number one. Let's just uh, cross our fingers and hope that is not a sign of things to come, which is getting some of our bad luck out of the way early and we're going to find some really exciting coins as we go. Although, double diddlies, oh dear. Okay, let's try and not get a third case of diddlies. Did diddlies, triple diddlies is not good. Well, there's something, not the most exciting coin. Um, this is Charles Dickens, it's a bit of a schmutz or something on the design as well, so it's not the nicest condition. Not that it really matters on a coin that is as common as that coin. Um, You'll have no problems finding the mountain circulation because there were so many of them made. And there's a Rugby World Cup. Again, one of the more common coins. Uh, when I do say common, I think I, I said before, um, I, I mean by, by that I mean there is lots of them minted. They're very high mintages. Uh, you have a good chance of finding it because there were so many made. Um, obviously, I have a better chance of finding a common commemorative coin uh, compared to others because I go through lots more coins than others but uh, it's just a case of um, there were so many of the mint for circulation that they're the ones you should find right Trinity House there um, not the most common coin but still not over face value unfortunately but we've started to make progress we've got three on the board should we do an edge hunt nice and early Let's see if that can rustle up some fortune we can do this with two pound coins because they have edge inscriptions which are, uh, feature wording unique to each design so it says standing on the shoulders of giants we know that will be a definitive technology which I think all of these are unfortunately well, we'll try again Let's see if we can find anything more exciting We've got standing shoulders, 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 standing shoulders, standing shoulders, standing shoulders. Oh dear. Not what we want to see. But unfortunately, what we will see on most coins because the uh, technologies are very, very common. Let's try again. Okay. Standing, standing on the shoulders, giants, 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 standing shoulders, giants, standing. Oh dear. Right. I think we give up on the edge inscription hunt because that didn't rustle us up anything exciting obviously the um we have had the new uh city view set uh city views coin come out i must admit i thought that was a set that had been uh, well, a series that had been forgotten uh we started off with london then we had rome and now we have had paris um, an interesting set. I think the designs on them are really, really cool. Uh, so this is DNA Double Helix. This is a nice design. It's quite an intricate, pretty design. And that's, I think that's what I like about the City Views set, uh, coins. They are very intricate, lovely designs. So I was quite excited to get my hands on the latest one, which features a view of Paris. We've got Britannia there. Britannia became the definitive design on two pound coins in 2015, uh, replacing technologies, but only got circulated in 2015, 2016, and then 2021, 2022. So we need to check the year. 2016, so there we go. Um, unfortunately, 
not one of the years in between the non-circulating years the NIFCs not intended for circulation coins um, because although none were none of the Britannias were minted for circulation between 2016 and 2021 um, they were minted for collector sets so there's the odd occasion where someone has spent um, the coin not either not realizing that there is value to a collector or I don't know sometimes with some of the year sets you can uh, take a year set, bust out the star coin, sell that for a profit, and then what have you got left is a whole bunch of nonsense that uh, you might as well spend, I guess, potentially. That's another route from this getting into circulation. This is Lord Kitchener. Lord Kitchener is a very common coin. You will find plenty of these out in circulation, but if you do find one, check for the error. On the obverse, the head side at the bottom here, it should say two pounds, which on this one, it does. The mule error was, was uh, created because one of the dies we used incorrectly. So striking a unique coin where the obverse and reverse don't match as intended. Oops. And that would be a very rare and quite valuable coin to come across. DNA double helix there. And a whole lot of nothing else there. Right, let me just uh, play sandcastles for a moment. Uh, I keep all the definitives off to the side, all in nice neat piles. So at the end of the video, I can just whiz through them and check for any of the errors that we look for. So things like rotation errors, double die errors, edge inscription errors, I will go through all of the coins before the end of the video and pull out any of intrigue. We don't always find them. Oh, that's nice. Great Fire of London. Um, it's the last circulating commemorative two pound coin. We haven't had any since. It's such a lovely design in this coin. And again, a smidge over face value. It's 2016 data two, so check for the rotation. That's fine. Oh no, it's the A's inscription, not the rotation. Uh, the whole city in dreadful flames, that's fine. Uh, I always check the 2016s when I remember. Sometimes I forget Great Fire London's and Britannia's, speaking of which. So that's fine. 2016 seems to have been a bit of a bogey year for the Royal Mint with their edge inscription, so always worth double checking. Again, it's uh, you're not going to find them too often. Oh wow, very nice. London Underground Roundel. One of two London Underground £2 coins, both quite scarce, not common coins to come across. So that is a lovely addition to our little rostrum of finds. And there's Florence Nightingale, a bit more common, but it is again a lovely design on that coin. I do like finding those. Well, it's picking up now. This is much more what we want to see. Hopefully we've burned all of our bad luck and it's just good luck wonderful coins from here into the end of the video because we've got a fair few whoa <laughs> London Olympic um, it's the handover from Beijing to London that's amazing so it's the Beijing handover superb any of the three Olympic two pound coins are definite star finds you don't find them often I like this one the army centenary so rotation error no age inscription error king and country no sadly not so that's as it should appear in circulation and there's um, our first of the three Shakespeare two pound coins, Shakespeare's Histories. His inscription should read it as the hollow crown, which this one does. So no error on that one, unfortunately. Uh, Charles Dickens once again. And we've also got another army centenary. So rotation error, no his inscription, king and country. That is fine. Well, there we go. In, was, that, was that two bags? One or two bags? The hunt's turned from a pretty, pretty rubbish one into a pretty extraordinary one. So who knows what more we could find. Another army centenary. No rotation error. King and country on the edge inscription. So that is fine. So I didn't obviously check for all the errors throughout the video. Just the ones that seem more common than others I will check for. But don't worry, I will check through all the coins at the end of the video. Uh, it'll, it'll be instantaneous results for you. It'll only take, I don't know, 15 minutes to whiz through them at the end, but uh, you don't want to watch me sat there flicking through them for 15 minutes. That's not as exciting as the hunt where we are pulling out commemoratives. I like that bag, but we found nothing. It's been, a, it's been a little while since we found an error two pound coin. Tell you what, it's been an even longer time since we found a fake two pound coin, I reckon. Uh, I made a counter, because we have counters tracking some of the coins, some of the common coins, some of the uncommon coins, just out of interest to see uh, at the end of the 
book, once we completed the whole book, how many of each coin we managed to find. Uh, well, for some of them, not all of them, unfortunately, I don't have unlimited time to do uh, counters for every single commemorative out there. But uh, I made the fake one to see at the end of the book how much I've been diddled out of, because obviously if I get a fake coin in one of these bags, I can't spend it, I can't pay it back into the bank, so what am I going to do with it? Well, I just I have a little collection of fake £2 coins is the answer to that. Um, but I found very few, surprisingly. I mean, don't get me wrong, I don't want a whole bag full of fake coins, but uh, in fact, I don't really want any fake coins, but sometimes they are kind of interesting to crop to crop up and hunt. Uh, rugby World Cup there. A second one for today. A bit crappy one, isn't it? Not very nice. Right, we've got a few more bags to go. To be fair, we've got some very nice results already, but uh, we wouldn't grumble if we found another exciting coin. Army Centenary. Oh, uh... Which is the way I rotated that. No, no rotation error for King and Country. You can go with the other ones. Nothing there. Right then, penultimate bag. Penultimate bag. Let's see if the penultimate bag can bring us anything exciting. Well, there we go. That is a commemorative Florence Nightingale. Second one of today's hunt. Unfortunately, that's it. Well then, we are on to the last bag. Who knows what could be hiding inside this, the last bag. Um, as usual, there are links in the description of this video across to my coin collecting Discord server if you want to come and join that. You'll also find links to my other social media channels, the PO Box address if you want to write in to me, and of course a link to the Britannia Coin Company's YouTube channel. That's the company I work for as my day job. We wrap off today with a Charles Dickens, but fear not, we still have all these coins to whiz through off the side, see if there's any exciting errors, which I will check for now. Well, this is why we check, because we have got this 2015 Technologies £2 coin. If we take it and rotate it 180 degrees, the Queen is facing the wrong way. If I take another random Technologies coin and rotate it, that's how the Queen should be facing. Now, always double check. You can see just here is the initials BR Bruce Russian who designed the coin. You can see that is where it should be. And on this coin you can see it is in the correct location. Because if someone has managed to somehow clamp the middle bit and twist it just far enough to get a rotation error, that initial would move as well. But uh, obviously on this one, that's not the case. So the die has just been put in askew, which is uh, a quite exciting error to find. We don't find every video. Uh, and this is not the most... Um, uh, not, the, not the most extreme example of a rotation error, but uh, enough that uh, it's definitely a keeper. In terms, speaking of keepers, our key, our um, key dates. What am I talking about? Star finds. I would pick one of these. Uh, probably the Olympic. But I do really like the Great Fire of London, but we very rarely see the Olympic two-pound coins. So I'm being a little bit indecisive. You'll have to let me know in the comments what you'd pick as the star find from today's video as well. All it leaves me to now, though, is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.